In TOEFL speaking, we use the grid to respond to all four tasks. Let's get into it. Okay, so in TOEFL speaking, you really need to get your head around three things to get a high score. Structure, content, speed, intelligible speed, I should say. The grid helps you with all three. Here is the task three grid. This is the sheet of paper that you'll use during the test to make the notes that will give you your response structure so you can fluently deliver content that aligns with the task requirements. Basically, you need to say the right things in the right order quickly. In part one of the grid, provide a concise summary of the reading's main concept and use a memorized transition phrase from a template. Part two and part three are reserved for your notes on the lecture. Okay, for this video, I'm continuing to use the free test on my speaking score called ETS Prep. Let's do part one together. Pause now and let's read this thing. Here we're talking about flow, the concept of flow. For the first part here, let's paraphrase from the text. We can say, flow is when you focus really hard on something. That doesn't sound great, right? How about flow is a focus on an activity? Better. Let's modify focus and activity here to add some depth and diversity to our vocabulary. So an intense focus on a truly satisfying activity. Okay, I love that because we add two adjectives and an adverb here. So now let's find two key points that characterize flow. Time, the apparent loss of time, right? And involvement or engagement, the this engagement in a super challenging task. We can even call this intrinsically rewarding task, right? Anytime I have an opportunity to find a low frequency, high value word, especially if it's an adjective or adverb, I try to make a note of that, okay? So let's go back to our template for this. I'm using my own template here in my Substack course. The article describes a psychological concept known as flow, which is a phenomenon that describes an intense focus on a truly satisfying activity. When people enter this state of flow, they lose all sense of time and become completely consumed by the mental or physical activity because it is so intrinsically rewarding. I love that. Intrinsically rewarding. It's great. Okay, now my transition in the lecture, the professor elaborates on this concept and provides examples to explain flow. Okay, notice this transition sentence. An effective transition statement or sentence is totally recyclable across any Q3 task. Just memorize it, right? And say it again and again until you make it yours. In the lecture, the professor elaborates on this concept and provides examples to explain it. That's going to serve you well for any task three that you encounter. Now, we haven't even heard the lecture yet, but we know the professor is going to expound on the concept of flow because the TOEFL is a standardized test. That's the task three, right? Okay, so completing parts two and three of the grid involves summarizing the lecture. And we know the lecture is going to be driven by these two points established in the reading. So I put time up here and involvement up here. Below, explain the example or examples the lecturer uses to illustrate each feature mentioned in the reading. Let's return to the grid, listen together, and take notes. I'll cheat here and expose the transcript to help us. I think this will help you get a picture of what your textbook is describing. I had a friend who taught in the physics department, Professor Jones. He retired last year. Anyway, I remember, this was a few years ago, I remember passing by a classroom early one morning just as he was leaving, and he looked terrible. His clothes were all rumpled, and he looked like he hadn't slept all night, and I asked if he was okay. I was surprised when he said that he never felt better, that he was totally happy. He had spent the entire night in the classroom working on a mathematics puzzle. He didn't stop to eat dinner. He didn't stop to sleep or even rest. He was that involved in solving the puzzle. And it didn't even have anything to do with his teaching or research. 
He had just come across this puzzle accidentally, I think in a mathematics journal, and it just really interested him. So he worked furiously all night and covered the blackboards in the classroom with equations and numbers and never realized that time was passing by. Now keep each explanation specific and link it back to the reading summary, ensuring coherence throughout your response. First, the professor explains that she used to work with this physics professor named Jones, and she encountered Jones one morning, and he appeared tired and totally disheveled. And the professor says that Jones has spent the entire night in the classroom working on some mathematics puzzle he ran across in a journal. Next, the professor says that Jones told her that he felt great, even though he never stopped to eat or sleep, because during the night he was so completely absorbed in solving the super challenging and satisfying puzzle. And the professor points out that her colleague Jones was totally unaware of the passage of time. Great. Okay, I want to show you something because I'm paying more and more attention to this these days in the speech reader data, and that is discourse coherence. Okay, discourse coherence. Look at how I build coherence into my response using the grid by mentioning time again and again. This is a key feature of flow, and so I've made it a key feature of my response, right? This will help you with the speech reader coherence score, but also it will appeal to the human rater, right? Who's gonna be evaluating your topic development. Okay, finally, in order to duplicate test taking conditions, you need to take all the tasks in sequence without interruption. Remember, on my speaking score, AI assist mode, and even the mic, they're there to provide you with the flexibility you need for your prep, but you need to always return to real mode when you want an accurate snapshot of your current TOEFL speaking score. Okay, in the next video, I'm going to show you exactly how to adapt the grid to structure a high-scoring response to question four. So until then, bye. -bye.